Hello, crisp lifers. Welcome to your review for today. Now, these Tesco cheese balls have been looking me in the eye for several months now, and I've finally taken the plunge to give them a try. I had a sneak preview last night, and here's my review for you today. Now, these, they say, are crunchy and cheesy. They're a classic snack packed with flavour and baked for a light crunch. Um, I'm imagining, or I was imagining until I tried them last night, that these were kind of like Watsits. They're vegan, so for any of you vegans out... No, 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 sorry, sorry, I mustn't get that wrong. They are vegetarian, they are not vegan. Um, <clears throat> so let's have a look at the ingredients, vegetable oils, sunflower oil, whey powder, milk, milk. That's why they're not vegan. Um, and these are suitable for vegetarians. They've got yeast extract, which I like the idea of that. I'm really liking yeast extract flavored things. Um, yeah, can't see anything particularly exciting about this, oh, except maybe our promise to make every effort to ensure our products are of the best possible quality. Bloody blah, blah, contact Tesco if you don't like it. Well, let's get some of these balls out. And give them a try. There they are. There are the balls. Um, they're a bit bigger than a Malteser. Certainly a lot yellower than a Malteser. Let's give them a try. Mm. Okay. So, first up, these are a very intense flavour. Think what's it times three. Much more intense than what's it. Really packed full of flavour. I love it. Mm. Okay. So, are they crunchy? Not particularly, but they're not supposed to be. I think they're supposed to be melty. I do like my crisps to be crunchy. These are not super melty like the, um, oh, they were puffs, I think they were, something like that, um, which were like clouds. They were so melty. These are not quite as melty as that, and they're not quite as melty as what's it. So uh, they have a little crunch to them. Mm, horses for courses, they're okay. Three out of five. Uh, and the ingredients itself, well, mm, yeah, it's a typical kind of maize-based product. It's meh, two out of five. What about this cheese flavouring? Well, it's immense. This is cheese flavouring on steroids. This is what's it's times three. It's incredible. It's going to blow your mind. I really like it. Will I give it a five? It's a bit... Artificially, I'm going to deduct half a point. This is a very strong four. You know you're eating artificial stuff. It kind of doesn't matter. But yeah, it doesn't also, doesn't really taste like cheese. It just tastes like a kind of artificial cheese. But it's really great. Four and a half out of five. Uh, value for money, not bad. £1.15 for 150 grams. These days, that's pretty good. Going to give that a four out of five. Oh, and munchability. Yeah, good. I went through most of this packet last night. And uh, did quite enjoy it. So that's a four out of five. So overall, <clears throat> I think if you want a posh crisp to impress at a, a dinner party, this is not it. But if you just need a big hit of cheese and you don't care how artificial it is and how bad for you it might be, and you just want to eat this and watch the football, then I think these might be the balls for you. Not bad effort, Tesco cheese balls. I'm going to award you... A rather surprising four out of five. Not bad at all. Balls to you.